In this video, we're going to learn how to concatenate strings in Python. So string concatenation is when we join multiple strings together. So for example, if we had here string one is equal to good and string two is equal to morning, then if we concatenated these strings, the new string should be good morning, like this. We can concatenate strings in Python by using the plus operator so for example, if we had here string one plus string two, this is going to concatenate together string one and string two. We could then output the new string that results. So we could have here print new string. We could save the program and try it out. And here we'll get good morning, which is the concatenation of string one and string two. Now we can chain together multiple string concatenation operations so for example, we could have here plus and then a string with one space character and then plus string two. And this is going to merge all three strings. If we save the program and try it out, now we get a space in between good and morning. We can also append a string onto the end of a string using the plus equals operator. So for example, if we had string three is equal to to you exclamation mark and then here we had new string plus equals string three this is going to append the string to you onto the end of this string here so if we save the program and try it out now we get good morning to you now we'll get an error if we try to concatenate something like an integer or a floating point number to a string so for example if we had something like speed is equal to 20 and units is equal to kilometers per hour, and then we had speed output is equal to speed plus units, we might think that this operation would concatenate speed and units. But if we try to output speed output and we save a program and run it, we actually get an error. We get here type error and it says unsupported operand type for plus int and string. So we can't mix together things like integers and strings when using the concatenation operator, but we could convert the integer value into a string. So we could have here str and convert this int value to a string. Then we could concatenate that string with units. So if we save the program now and then run it, we'll get the string 20 kilometers per hour. Now we can also concatenate strings using the string join method. So for example, if we have something like a list of strings, like for example, a list of names, we'll have here name list is equal to, and we'll have Camilla and Mary and Sarah in our name list, then we could concatenate these strings with names output is equal to, and we'll have a string with no characters, and then dot join, and we'll pass the join method name list. We could then output names output with print names output. And if we save the program and run it, we see the join method has produced a new string by concatenating together the strings in our list. Now the join method is going to use this string here as the separator string. Right now, we have nothing in the string. So there's nothing separating the strings when they're joined together. If we had a space here, and we save the program, and try it out, now we'll get Camilla, Mary, and Sarah separated by a space. We could put comma space here, and save our program, and try it out. Now we'll get Camilla, Mary, and Sarah separated by comma space. Now the join method will actually work with any iterable object. So for example, it will also work with tuples or dictionaries. So there are some other ways to concatenate strings in Python, but each of these techniques is really deserving of its own video. But I will show you how in this video. So for example, we could use the string format method. We could have here, let's say S1, is equal to good and s2 is equal to evening 
then we could have good evening is equal to, and we could have open and close bracket and open and close bracket, and then dot format, and we'll pass format S1 and S2. And these are called placeholders or format fields. And these arguments are going to take the place of these placeholders in the string that format is going to build. We could then output good evening here. We'll have print good evening. And if we save the program and run it, we'll get here good evening. There's also a string formatting operator that works in a similar way. So we could have here the string with percent %s and percent %s, and then we'll have the string formatting operator percent with s1 and s2. And the idea here is that these are format specifiers. Percent %s is telling the string formatting operator to place a string here and here. And then in the tuple, we provide s1 and s2 to take the place of those format specifiers. And we can see the operator is going to build the new string, good evening, if we save the program and run it. We could also use formatted string literals or what are called f-strings. So here, for example, we could have f, and then inside curly braces, s1 and s2. And if we save the program and run it, we'll again get good evening. But I'll have to make separate videos covering each of these techniques in the full detail these topics deserve. So this is how we can concatenate strings in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.